Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. After more than a year, a major sign toward normalcy. The CDC announcing today those fully vaccinated no longer need to wear a mask or social distance except on mass transportation. The largest group of Americans unvaccinated kids. But in just a few hours, you'll be able to vaccinate your child 12 to 15 years old. That and the low COVID positivity rate in Palm Beach County is a game changer for kids and mass next school year, Jim. Yeah, and Liz, all of of that as the Palm Beach County School District has now changed its mind. It's backed off of its plan to force students to wear masks next year. CBS 12's Luli Ortiz has more on what could be called a compromise and what parents think about it. Luli. It's what national health leaders consider protection, but now students and staff members will have the choice to wear these masks when they return to school on August 10th. After a long and bitter debate with parents over the school district's mask mandate, Palm Beach County Superintendent Dr. Donald Fenoy is offering a compromise. In a letter sent out to parents, Dr. Fenoy writes facial coverings will be optional when students return to school this fall. But for the remainder of the school year, while in buses and during graduation ceremonies, masks will Will be required. And if we don't want to wear a mask, we're allowed to not wear a mask. The decision comes after concerned parents met with a school board member outside the district's headquarters on Thursday afternoon. One parent says it affects his daughter's ability to communicate. It comes just from the love of my daughter and seeing the, the struggles that she has. And she's already feeling left out by, the, by, by her restrictions and not being able to communicate properly. Hundreds of other parents reacting on the district's Facebook page, one writing awful, others thanking the superintendent, and this one reads, finally. Justin Katz with the local teachers union says this. Some people want to be more cautious, some people want to be less cautious. Um, so, I, you know, it's passionate and people have emotions on both sides. In the letter, the district explains its choice after looking at the county's downward positivity rate, the increasing vaccine availability for children and adults, and the governor's recommendation against face coverings. It was a valid debate to have. The school board had it. The superintendents made a decision weighing all of the, the legitimate variables and metrics out there in terms of the virus. This week, a team of doctors and infectious disease specialists sending this letter to the school district explaining the importance of keeping masks mandatory in schools for now. We think it's absolutely necessary to do that. I mean, we are still seeing 200 plus cases of COVID in Palm Beach County every single day. But we'll take it as it comes. You know, I'm glad that the school district has at least recognized that, you know, we should continue mask wearing uh, in the schools, at least through the end of the school year. And not everyone is happy with this mask option. There's actually a petition right now making its rounds on social media, asking the district to keep its mask mandate. And so far, there's 2,300 signatures right now. Outside the Palm Beach County School District, I'm Luli Ortiz, CBS 12 News. As for the other school districts in our area, students no longer have to wear masks in Okeechobee County Schools. Indian River County and Martin County Schools will allow face coverings to be optional during summer school, but neither board has decided protocol for the next school year. St. Lucie County Schools say they plan to keep their mask policy in place for now.